Hello and welcome to First Lady, an exclusive show on First Post where we bring you India's foremost leaders, thinkers and activists. She was the reigning queen of Bollywood throughout the 80s and 90s. She possessed unending charm, poise, dignity, talent and beauty in an industry where most of those qualities were considered the custodian of the male actor. It's therefore such an honour and pleasure to have Juhi Chavla with us here today for this exclusive Women's Day edition of First Lady. Thank you so much Juhi ma'am for being here with us. I'm so excited, I'm so honoured. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Lovely to be with you. You were considered the comic beauty at a time when uh, in India especially a beautiful woman could not be funny. So were you aware at that time that you were breaking glass ceilings or were you just doing what came to you naturally? As a, a growing girl I never knew yeah. I would be an actress. So who were my favourites on screen? Mm -hmm. One was Mumtaz. <laughs> I, used to, I used to think she was very vivacious, very cute. I didn't yeah. know and I just adored her because she was cute and then she was very sweet and very re really lovely on screen. Yeah. And then as I grew a little older, it was mm. Sri Devi on screen whom I watched. Yeah. And again, Chandni, Lamhe, um, Chal Baz are films I used to see again and again just <laughs> for her. Beautiful and yet so lovable in every yeah. frame of the film, yeah. just sparkling. Exactly. So when I was beginning, Sri Devi was my idol hmm. and another one I must mention is uh, Padmini Kolapuri. Of course, yeah. Because I yeah. still remember there was some scene in Prem Rog where she's laughing and laughing, laughing, she starts crying. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, I yeah, remember that. Something yeah. where Chintuji yeah. makes her laugh for some reason. She's yeah. already a widow and hmm. all that and then yeah. making her laugh and then she starts crying. Yeah. And you know, I, I was like, I became an actress and then you always think, hmm. Who, sh who were your favourites, you know, what yeah. should you be like? Okay. So I tried to emulate them. Abhi, you know, you've been uh, in the film industry for more than three decades. Do you think there's any change in the representation of women in films and even, you know, when you look around you in our reality today? On the sets, there's been some amazing changes because mm -hmm. I remember in the 90s, yeah. from my hairdresser to my makeup person to mm -hmm. my manager mm -hmm. to Everybody on the sets, 99% they were all men. Oh, okay. Every so if you had a yeah. hundred people, a hundred yeah. people which were normally, yeah. are normally on a set, 98 all are all men. Oh God. And then yeah. me and then later on my hairdresser okay. and maybe if my ma aunt or my mother or somebody was coming along, hmm. that was it. Okay. Today you come to a film set or an advertising set. Hmm. Your DOP, your camera person behind is is a girl, <laughs> is a woman, a young woman, uh, assistants in the styling department, in the direction department, okay. in art direction, they're all there, all, yeah. it's like 40% are women, so it's a great change. On screen, I find you have in one sense given freedom to women to come out and work, mm. but I don't know if we are respecting them enough on screen. I mean, just look back at you know films in the 50s, 60s, how the women used to dress. Right. Then our time, yeah. it got a little less. Hmm. But now look at where the clothes are going. Hmm. Exactly. So you are somewhere. You've given them the freedom to be out there and be career women. Yeah. But the way you're projecting them, I don't know if it's respectful enough. But you know, you've spoken about this also that there were certain songs that you had to do like Jab Tak Rahega Samosi Mein Aalu where you were very uncomfortable because <laughs> you were the only woman on set so you couldn't really, you felt like you couldn't really raise your voice against it, right? But now when we look at the item numbers and we think that women are more emancipated or they have more muscle power mm. but they're still agreeing to be objectified like that, they're still agreeing to become commodities and to just be a body. So does that also like, does it irk you sometimes that you know women are still being uh, reduced like that or diminished like that? So that's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. I yeah. don't know, I don't know if I should be disturbed about it or not. Yeah. But I am seeing it and I don't know if many people are realizing it but yeah. you know, kisi ne bahut sweetly I said, it was Kunal Kohli, I have to give him credit yeah. for Aji. even saying this. He was on the radio one day and he's yeah. he talks about films and hmm. you know, things that have happened, and just anecdotes. And he was saying, isn't it strange that today, you know, all the young girls, actresses, 
you call them item girls hmm. you call them item girls exactly what did you just call them but nobody reacts to it anymore but this is despite the fact that you know filmmakers are making more women centric movies like queen or the actors like kangana alia and priyanka on the forefront but you said ki hindi films abhi bhi they're very hero centric they're led by heroes so is this where the thought process is coming from that most of the audience wants to see like heroes on sc- on the big screen acha tell me you named hmm. one film yeah which was heroine hmm uh, which was story revolved Spend around the heroine yeah tell me five more that's true <laughs> i can i was thinking of urta punjab but i guess it's not really about the heroine there na it's uh, chalo aapko ye bhi granted hai urta punjab <laughs> aur char bata do <laughs> pata nahi you'll be struggling that's true so yeah. where do you you know hmm. so where where are the <laughs> yeah heroine oriented films yeah uh, No, there are not many. And if okay. I tell you to just name the hero films, yeah. you'll have ten in a flash. That's true. So numbers will still tell you that mm. it's still a hero-dominated mm. uh, industry. And let it be; it's it's okay. If we make good cinema, it mm. doesn't matter if the hero is the hero, the yeah. heroine is the hero. Yeah. It's just that let's make good films. Definitely, that's what's important, right? So I remember that uh, you know this, there's this huge uh, discourse over wage pay disparity, you know, between the hero mm-hmm. and the heroine. So I remember you also said that you were aware that your you know male co-stars were getting paid more, but you were okay with it. And this I remember you drew a lot of flak for it. You were anti-feminist, and was some balaya gaya. But it is the reality, right? So how did you like? Where was where were you coming from when that happened? I was coming from maybe conditioning. Hmm. It's just been happening. Like I say, yeah. I mean, actually, fundamentally. things haven't really changed they have been the mm. same this was the mm. way it was before i came into the industry mm. this is the way it's going to be beyond mm. our discussion and we can shout yeah. feminist and anti feminist and all that yeah i don't know if it's if mm. it's really going to change that much mm. um and um you know what I, mm. actually in a film if you really come to think of it the heroes do have to put in many more days of work okay they are you know since mm-hmm. the story does have a lot more of them the action okay. scenes are done by them okay there is a lot more work to it okay i wouldn't say why are they paid more than the heroines but mm. i could say why don't the heroines get paid a little more okay i don't want to sit and compare apples mm. to oranges and say heroes get that mere ko bhi kar you ah. know put me at the same uh level level yeah. and say no i want to be paid the same as say sharukh khan today yeah. but no you can be paid better okay. and i think that depends on what project you're doing is it exactly. really uh, um cuz having said all you want to say hmm. sometimes i have done films hmm. for next to nothing next okay. to nothing hmm. but that's my choice i said yeah. these people don't have a budget but they have yeah. a great script Right. My brother Nikhil was hmm. such a tiny budget film. मतलब कुछ नहीं था उनके पास. हाँ. For that matter, even hmm. say uh, Jhankar Beats. Hmm. So very yeah. tiny film, but yeah. uh, they were brilliant. Again, very good movies. Yeah, but they yeah. were nice films. And very I, nice. I yeah. Did them for a song, but I enjoyed doing it. Yeah. And I think that is really up to you. Yeah. You can make that choice to do films for. Mm. practically nothing or then <laughs> charge the sky <laughs> and if you can get it why not yeah why not to each their own to each their own way, right yeah. yeah so you know there's a lesson on aspect of your personality you're known for so many multiple things you know business woman actor um entrepreneur all those things but a lesson on fact uh, that i want to shine the light on is the fact that you're very uh, act, you know you've been an activist in health initiatives also especially for women So especially आपका जो मोबाइल रेडिएशन यू नो यू बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट इट अलॉट विच इज़ गुड यूर क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस दैट अ मोबाइल रेडिएशन इज़ वेरी बैड फॉर आर हेल्थ तो हाउ डू यू टेल पीपल एट यू नो इन दिस कैन ऑफ डे एंड एज बाई ऑल ऑफ आर सो ऑब्सेस विद आर मोबाइल्स आई नो आई कीप लुकिंग एट माई मोबाइल एवरी आवर अदर वैट आई फील समथिंग इज रॉन्ग हाउ डू यू टेल पीपल कि अ मोबाइल इज नॉट अ प्ले थिंग दैट इट कैन एक्चुअली हार्म यू आई थिंक जस्ट टेलिंग पीपल स्टॉप यूजिंग इट और डोंट यूज इट और समथिंग डजन वर्क इट डजन वर्क विद माई चिल्ड्रेन वे विल इट वर्क विद पीपल <laughs> but if you understand one very fundamental thing about it yeah then you will at least think about it and 
at the back of your head it will be there to tell you now you're overdoing it metal yeah. blocks these radio waves okay but these radio waves can mm. pass through soft flesh mm. these radio waves can pass through water okay your body is 70% water water yes okay mm. these waves in nature are very close to microwaves okay so when these waves mm. are constantly around us and we mm. are now going to have more and more radiation around us as mm. the antennas around our houses increase yeah. as our cell phone usage increases as we mm. keep it here mm. all your soft tissue is all the time these waves really? are this is either passing through almost, yeah yeah okay. i well yeah this is an open air microwave yeah this is this is not in a box it's open air so there's a lot more space hmm. but the fact is that these waves are constantly going past you past your cells hmm. now anything in excess yes even the best of foods hmm. anything hmm. begin to harm you So if you are going to overexpose yourself to these rays mm. in time it will be beyond doubt what they mm. can do yeah. hum log dekh lenge in the coming Andy. years ah. because this is still a very recent yeah. addition to our lifestyle environment <laughs> yeah. lifestyle children apart from uh, this mobile radiation awareness also that you've been uh, you know you've been part of the campaign you've also been part of the make india thyroid awareness uh, campaign Oh. and this is something ki you know not many people are aware of there is not that much knowledge about it even though it's affecting 50 million women across india and these are just the diagnosed figures i have, for example have thyroid uh, you know for the last 3 years and i know it's a nightmare and some women don't even diagnose it they don't know uh, oh. how to go about it so you know what kind of efforts have you been making towards this campaign okay um so i also know that uh thyroid is a very common Yeah. Um I don't want to call it a disease but it's lifestyle yeah. problem I guess. Yes, there is help at hand. You can go to your doctor, you can be prescribed this and you can get on with life and work. But I personally do feel that that is not a cure. And the aim should be not just to hang on to that pill and then live the rest of your life with it. I feel you can do yoga. you can mm. do exercises you can walk you can mm. you can find other ways to then get off that pill in time so somewhere yeah. you use allopathy and that care to manage your life for now but then yeah. you know make an effort to go beyond it and be healthy and be Absolutely. without it as well so i think it's <laughs> it's important that women know there is help Yeah. but uh, i would also recommend that they don't just stay there with it just yeah. try to get off it okay absolutely but you know the biggest <coughs> problem i think that women face is you know that denial is the biggest impediment to treatment so especially yeah. in india you know what women do is they put their health their health issues on the back burner yeah. so even when there are obvious symptoms like you know for me also this happened obvious uh, say thyroid symptoms like unexplained weight gain yeah, gain, or gain hair, hair loss, loss yeah. or even uh, reduced appetite mm. uh, they will deny it and then they will focus on other priorities like their yeah. family so what do you suggest for this set of women how can women get proactive about their health and health issues you know i'm when people ask me what kind of mother are you yeah. what kind of house older are you I'm, i'm i'm very much the regular i mm. do the same things i mean mm. though it may not seem like that but mm. i do uh, my priority is are the kids okay are they eating all right i'm you know mm. is everybody else in the household okay um, and somehow there's that much less time for yourself so i understand yeah. what the <laughs> women are saying but then again off late i have become selfish and in the morning mm. i will first try not to begin anything else not mm. even you know if you pick up the newspaper only your mind starts working somewhere else mm. so don't pick up your phones don't pick up your newspapers get up early just do exercises or whatever you need to do for yourself first mm. and then start your day i mm. believe and i try mm. prevention is better than cure so don't wait to hit a crisis yes. in your health and then 
work backwards to who to you know set it right <laughs> but i know as people we all do that we all do that yeah. jab tak chal raha hai to chal raha hai na fir kya hai but yeah. thodi si mehnat apne pe karo hmm. and then when if you are well yeah you can take care of everything check ups karao ek kuch ek routine kuch blood test ya kuch aisa kuch karwao and be sure the things are within parameter exactly but devote time to yourself uh, <laughs> या एक दिन एक दिन थोड़ी भी तबीयत खराब होती है तो नहीं। फिर दिन ही अच्छा नहीं जाता नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं सब yeah. सब भारी लगता है टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ यू आर प्राइसलेस यू आर इन वैल्यूबल वेरी वेल सेड यू नो जूही जी थैंक यू सो मच आई एम शो ऑल दिन आर लिस्टिंग दिल बी वेरी इंस्पायर टू यू नो टेक केयर ऑफ दल्थ टेक केयर ऑफ दम सेल्स प्रायोरिटाइज दल्थ एंड ऑल्सो गो टू द डॉक्टर यू नो इफ दैव प्रॉब्लम दे शुड गो बिकॉज they cannot put their own health as a back burner so i'm sure yeah. they'll be inspired by your words and i'm very excited that we're having this you know sh- uh, episode on international women's day which is the time for celebration but mm. also to you know share the plight of women across the world and i'm so yeah. happy that you're placing women's concerns uh, you know almost above your own and making it your own concern so i think it shows that you're not just a great artist but also a great human being Yeah, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much for joining us here today on First Lady. It was really a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Lovely, lovely to meet with you. Lovely to talk to you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>